Hi, I'm Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar. I am a consultant pediatric neurologist at Astor CMA Hospital in Hepar. This video is for parents and family members who have children with epilepsy. Some of the common questions parents often ask in the clinic are about the diet, activities, particularly swimming, and triggers. So let me elaborate on a few. First of all, the diet. The common question is, can we put the child on any diet restriction? Absolute no. There is no diet restriction that is required. Your child can eat all homemade food, healthy food. But definitely avoid packaged and foods containing coloring agents. Most of these contain preservatives. They can themselves act as triggers. So avoid packaged and ready-made foods. Second one is sugars. These days consuming foods with high sugar content, that itself can trigger off seizure. So avoid it. Some common myths, can I give banana, can I give apple, can I give orange? So each part of the country have a, a kind of myth, avoid certain foods. So common is banana, I don't know why, but there is no evidence. There is no evidence to say avoid banana or evidence to say consuming banana will trigger off seizures. So I hope that clarifies and banana is happy and your child is also happy. The next one is about activities. There is no need to restrict any activities. Your child can do all the activities what he or she was doing before can do now. Swimming is often a bit of risky situation. You need to be aware. It is not a seizure, that is, but water that can put the life at risk. So when you send a child to a swimming pool, make sure there is an adult inside the pool who can help the child in case child has a seizure. Most of the swimming classes have trained coaches, but you have to let them know. Because many times it is hidden, means the child has epilepsy and it is not shared with the concerned individuals and that can put your child at risk. So please always inst inform your instruct swimming instructor or better still, if you can get into the pool and be with the child, that is the best thing to do. The next one is triggers. Com some of the common triggers are sleep deprivation. Having a regular sleep cycle, sleep habits, a daily, daily routine is very helpful. Next is excess activity. Yes, I said uh, allow the child to play, but everything has to be in moderation. Excess activity, not consuming enough water, not wearing a cap when it is too hot, can itself tire the child and that can act as a trigger. So be mindful of this. The next one is medication. Medication, following it regularly is very important. Many times there is a lot of kind of loose comments or loose opinions. Somebody says, oh, you've given it for six months, why do you need to give it, stop it? So somebody stops, then restarts, stops, restarts, forgets, restarts. These things can put the child at risk. So it is very important to be compliant, means take the medicines regularly. And finally, you also had to follow up with the doctors regularly. The reason is, in children, the medicines are given according to the weight. So as a child puts on weight or as the child crosses a certain age, the doses may have to be varied, the medicine may have to be changed. There are certain medicines which are excellent but need not be, should not be used in particular age group, in a particular sex. Make sure you follow the right advice, follow up with your doctor regularly so that your child is on the right dose of medicine and the right drug, making the whole journey of epilepsy less painful.